Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will show you how you can make your Elementor-based website accessible. Accessibility is not just a necessity, but it is a legal requirement, so we need to make sure our websites meet the accessibility standards. Let's use Elementor WordPress theme as it's 100% optimized for Elementor. Navigate. Dashboard. Plugins. Add new. In the search field, type in accessibility and press enter. There are several nice plugins, but since Elementra is a 100% Elementor optimized theme, let's use Ally by Elementor. Click install now and then activate it. Great, the plugin was installed successfully. We can find it in the left side panel. The plugin is very easy to use. It has only one screen with all the controls. The first thing to do is to connect your Elementor account. I am currently logged into my free Elementor account, so I'm good here. We can also switch accounts and check subscriptions. Next, we have a help center, and above, we can see our usage limits, which are fairly generous for a free account. Now let's check the design settings. Here we can choose between the icon types. Below, we can change the size. It is better to choose a bigger one. On the right side, we can play around with colors using the color slider. Below, we can change the corner radius to change the shape of our widget. If we scroll down, we can choose to display or hide our widget on different devices. We can also decide where exactly it will show up. On the right side, we can even give an exact positioning if we want to. Below, we can save changes. The next tab is Capabilities. Here we can choose which controls we want to give to a user. On the right side, we can see what the widget will look like. We will check each setting on the front end. Let's just enable the sitemap. As you can see, for paid users, there are additional features, but we are fine with the free version and save the changes. In the statement, we can customize our accessibility statement page. It's a page that tells the user about the accessibility opportunities. We can assign any page created on our website. And finally, in analytics, paid users can also see how the accessibility tools are used by site visitors. But we are fine with our free account, and let's go to the front end of our website. Great! Our website is fine, and our accessibility widget is in the bottom right corner. When users click on it, they can see a control panel. On top, we can reset the settings to the default, then hide the widget. It can be hidden for one session, 24 hours, or a week. And of course, close the widget. Below, we have a link to the accessibility statement page and Elementor's logo. Can be hidden in the paid version. We can navigate through the panel with the mouse, or by using the tab and space keys on our keyboard. This can be super useful for users who use only a keyboard for navigation. The bigger text option will increase the size of the text on the page. There are four sizes available. A bigger line height option will increase the distance between the rows. And here we have three sizes. Let's scroll down and test the text align option. It has a theme default, left align and right align option. The readable font will adjust our font for better readability. The grayscale option can be useful for users with color blindness. The contrast setting is great for users with color sensitivity and low vision. It has several modes. The high contrast even highlights site links. Page structure will give us the hierarchy of all the headings on the page. This helps a lot with navigation on the page. The sitemap, on the contrary, helps visitors navigate the entire website. The reading mask may help users with visual impairments. It focuses on the text row by row and reduces visual distractions. The Hide Images feature reduces auditory clutter and improves the clarity of content. The Pause Animation feature will disable all Elementor animations, especially those during the page load. This is important for users with certain disabilities, such as photosensitive epilepsy, vestibular disorders, or ADHD.
Outline Focus serves for better keyboard navigation and visual clarity, and the Highlight Links feature will highlight all our links on the page to make them more prominent. Since Elementra is 100% optimized for Elementor, all the accessibility features work perfectly. Make your site accessible and easy to use for everyone. Hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more useful tutorials, and see you in the next videos.